Hi there, I'm meteorologist Robert Spedda. Let's talk about the tropics here locally and around the world. But locally, uh, here in the northeastern Florida and across the southeastern U.S., nothing in the near term, but any extended forecast way out until we're talking about next weekend and beyond, uh, there is a few areas that could influence our weather. Now, there's a lot of questions, and uh, that's uh, really kind of a broad statement here because we have several areas in the tropics. And at the highest, there's one rate kind of in the central Atlantic that's uh, being given about a 40% chance of development in the next five days as it moves off there towards the west. Some guidance actually picking up on it developing near the Lesser Antilles and moving across the Caribbean. There's a lot of stuff these things have to overcome, one being dry air there. Uh, if they do stay south of that dry air, it could help them keep kind of some organization. But that's one of the questions. Overall, the flow is going to carry it towards west, south of the Bermuda High. So any systems that do develop, likely they won't be recurving towards the north, likely going to be staying on that westerly trend, like I said, if they do develop. I mean, right now the tropical waves are not tropical depressions or anything like that. And you can see from these spaghetti plots, just some of the numerical guidance kind of keeping in line what I'm talking about here with a westerly flow of these series of tropical waves. So the key thing, still have plenty of time to watch these, still keeping an eye on it. We're in the middle of tropical season, so this shouldn't be too much of a surprise. Meanwhile, Kevin yeah, Kevin, I think that's probably one of the most standard names for a tropical system. Uh, it is a tropical storm out there, expected to become a hurricane in the eastern Pacific. Not expected to impact anybody directly. And then if we look out over towards our friends wrapping up the Olympics there in Tokyo, uh, actually, I uh, saw a wind gust report of 69 miles per hour there along the coastal areas of Tokyo as this pulled past. So they definitely had some breezy conditions uh, here on one of the last days of the uh, Olympics. But that's moving away. Problem is, that's Marinay. There's another storm on its heels that's named Blue Pit, which is moving across Japan as well, making landfall towards the southwest in Kyushu. So kind of interesting. They've just had endless tropical systems since the Olympic Games started, but thankfully none of them turned into typhoons and caused serious impacts on the Games. Anyways, I'm meteorologist Robert Spetta, First Coast News.